morning, everyone. I got something great to tell you. I can't wait to tell you what it is. Nina, what are you doing? Um, saying hello to our audience. Hello, everyone. You didn't tell them about our deal, have you yet? No. You're, you're waiting for me, I waited, correct? Yes, I've waited for you. Did she tell you already? No? Oh, good. Go ahead, now that I'm here, <laughs> spoiling the surprise. We have a great deal for you. For you. In two weeks, in two weeks, somebody's going to be 30. And in two weeks, it's going to be my birthday and Nina's birthday. So, so the special deal that we have for you. For you. Is all of Zudlow's, not all of. Well, yeah, all of it. Zudlow's promotion of his recipes. His Reci recipe cards. Uh, his recipe cards. His inventory sheets. Inventory sheets. Digital cookbook. Digital cookbook. And something new that Zudlow has come up with, yes. which I think is good too, is meal planning sheets. Now, this is a weekly meal planning sheet. Take a look. Now, you have listed your days of the week, and you could write out, oh, Monday, I'm going to make soup. Tuesday, I'm going to make tacos for Taco Tuesday. And you can write what you're going to make, okay? Now, not only is this for um, your dinner, you can use it for breakfast and lunch. Now, I'm not a stay-at-home mom. I have to work, so. Huh. Now we have another weekly meal planner. Just it, It's just a different version, you know, something different. Meat variety. Yeah. So here you have, you're listed your, your days of the week. And then on the bottom you can, there's a grocery list. You have room to make your grocery list for what you're going to need for the week of your meals. And then, and then we also have any notes. Let's say you have kids and you're taking, you know, little Susie to soccer practice that day or. And you, you know, need to bring snacks. Or little, you know, little Kevin to uh, hockey or whatever. You write it right there and always remember. You yep. can stick it on your fridge. They work best on the fridge because they're right there in front of you. Yep. And you say, and you say, oh, I need this. And then we have one more. Okay. Again, days of the week. Now you have your meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you can put down the ingredients that you're going to need for that. And you could also use the ingredients as, like, let's say you're doing breakfast and you have, you know, six eggs. You can write the ingredients like, hey, I need eggs. So almost kind of like a shopping list, if you prefer. Now, then he also has the inventory sheets. And you know something? I've been using these. I have my refrigerator one with a magnet on my refrigerator. I have the freezer one, because I have a big freezer. I have a freezer one stuck on there for the freezer inventory because it helps me. Now, in my refrigerator right now, I have milk, and I have two gallons of milk that I have to use by September 7th. So I've got, what, a couple of weeks to use two gallons of milk? That's quite a bit. But we do have recipes for that that we're gonna be showing, not in this video, but later. Right. And so you know you list it. Milk, eggs, butter, cheese, cream, whatever. And then you have. Now I have three dozen eggs that I have to use by September 14th. Well, I'll be making burritos later on and I'll be using a dozen eggs. So now I'm down to two. And also you could say, oh, well, now I'm short on cream because I only have five left. <laughs> we go through a lot of cream here. And I need to go and get some cream. Well, Coffee then, and yeah, then you got your grocery <clears throat> list, you know, start that grocery list. I keep a pad right next to this. Yep. And I start my grocery list. Oh, this is what I'm going to need. Same thing with the freezer. I've got chicken, steak, frozen vegetables, because sometimes I take shortcuts, and that's okay. I, I take the freezer vegetable shortcuts, too. I mean, you always see me when I'm cooking on the flat top. I always have a frozen thing of broccoli or frozen peppers and onions. It's just quick and easy, and that's okay. Semi-homemade. That's right. You don't have to be, everything doesn't have to be difficult to do. No. Then we have our pantry items. You know your pantry items. You have your flour, your sugar, your vanilla, your cereal even. Yep. You know, you don't want to give the kids stale cereal, or your oatmeal, or your pancake mix. You don't want those things 
to um, you don't want to use those things when they're out of code. Right. And see, these these help because some people like to not look in their cabinets or the freezer or their pantry and then just go out and buy more even though they have it in there. At least now you will have a list of it and you'll be like, oh, well, I really don't need that. You know, I don't need this. I don't need rice. I don't need beans. Right. You know? Then we have our cabinet inventory. Now, in the cabinet we have nice rice. <laughs> Rice. We have rice. And then we have bears. Be bean. <laughs> we have bears in our cabinet. Um, and you know, you don't want to, again, you don't want to really. <laughs> you don't want to have bears in your yeah, cabinet. Yeah, you don't want bears in your cabinet. We have beans in the cabinet, you know. Um, depends. When things are on sale, I like to stack up. And sometimes that's not a good thing, unless you're going to use them right away. Correct. Um, well, not right away. It's more within, of, within the the. Unless you're going to use them, <laughs> don't buy things that you're not going to use. Even if it's a deal, don't buy it. Like if you're going to, but let's for example, there's beans on sale. Now, I mean, honestly, we don't really eat a lot of beans, but I want to start getting eating more beans. Just because they're on sale, why would I buy it if I really don't eat it? That's you know, right. that's right. Just because it's on, just because it's on sale, doesn't mean you're going to be saving money. It's going to just sit in the pantry or your cabinet, and then you're going to end up throwing it out or donating it. Now, the cabinet inventory that I showed you, this is a blank one. It's not only good for things that you have in your kitchen cabinets. Correct. This is great for your medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. It's still summer. Pretty soon, it's going to be fall, winter. And you know, people get sick in winter. Mm -hmm. um, people take aspirin sometimes. They get headaches every day. You have to take aspirin. Mm -hmm. This is great for your medicine cabinet because sometimes you they'll start to have the um, the items for when you're sick on sale, and you start to buy it. Cough drops. Um, cold medicine mm -hmm. and then you have it in the cabinet for when you need it right what happens if you don't get sick and then all of a sudden the next year oh I got some NyQuil let me go get you some oh it's out of date yep okay so if you list all of your medic medicines on here um, not even just your, well I don't know about shampoo in that but I use it mainly for the medicines the cough drops the the cold medicine, mm -hmm. the allergy pills, the yep. aspirin, because those things do go out of code. Now, unfortunately you can use them, but it's not going to be at its full strength. So Correct. if you take a cold medicine that's out of date, you're going to be sick longer. If you have one of these and list it, you know, okay, I've got until this date to use it, let's be sick. Let's be sick and use that medicine. Right. But right. again, not only for the kitchen cabinet, it works great for the medicine cabinet. Because as he pointed out, I'm bad for buying stuff that's on sale and then it just sits there. And I'm throwing money away. With these, I'm not throwing money away because I can keep my eye out to see what, mm -hmm. you know, how long I have to use it, what I need to buy, when I need to buy it. Right. Right. Exactly. And so all of this again is 30% off. Yes. 30. 30. Ding, 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 ding. Because someone is going to be 30, 30 in two weeks. Yep. And. <laughs> and. I don't know. Yes, so 30. 30% 30 so off. 30% off. Again, we'll go through. You have the digital recipe book, 30% off. Okay. There's some great recipes in here too. And with the recipe book, yeah, you could go ahead and hold it. There are I 15 recipes that are in here, plus two bonus recipes. Oh, so, so you get a bonus and a bonus. Yes. So you get where's here it is. This is the the table of contents that is there. You get two bonus recipes. So I mean that's not bad, and. So, for, or you can get the recipe cards. Right, and now with the recipe cards, there's five different layouts of them. Let's, let's see if we can pull it up here if you want to hold that real fast. 
There's one, here's two, three, four, and I believe this is the last, and five, right? Yes. These are, these are pretty cool, too. You've got your title, your prep time, your total time to cook, list, you list all the ingredients, and then the directions on how to prepare. Correct. And again, these are different. You, <laughs> again, these are different. You got title, prep time, cook time, servings, and then ingredients and directions. And uh, this one here, you have your servings, the tools you'll need, your ingredients, the difficulty of the recipe, the spiciness of the recipe, and then all of your directions. So for these two, the difficulty, that's to your standard. So like if it was an easy recipe to follow or an easy recipe to do. You'd mark number one. And then spicy, maybe you... <laughs> maybe you like a little kick, okay? So then you use number one. Maybe you like it real spicy to where your mouth really gets that then that would be maybe a number three or a four. Now, if you want to use a ghost pepper, well, then you're off the charts. <laughs> and this is kind of going off topic here, but I really like this because the one thing that I really enjoy and love about cooking is that you could take a recipe and pretty much modify it to your own liking. So let's say I make a recipe myself and I the difficulty is easy, but the spiciness is like not even half a star. Maybe you like more spicy, like Nina said, and you could up that spicy. Or there's some ingredients that you don't like and you could swap out for something else. And that's why I really enjoy cooking because you could take a blank canvas and make it your own. Just like this. You could take a blank canvas of this sheet of paper and write, you know, different ingredients down. You don't always have to follow the recipe. Maybe you want to you know, it tells you to leave chicken in the oven for 25 minutes, but you realize that, hey, it's done in 20. Change it up, you know? That's right. That's right. You could uh, tweak the recipes as much as you want. Come up with your own little tweakage. Yep. These, this digital recipe book is really, is really cool. Um, Go ahead and check. One of my favorites is chicken parmesan chicken parmesan with a little spaghetti on the side mm -hmm. it is delicious now let me let me ask you let me see okay so see you have with this recipe you use like two cans of tomato sauce and that's great it, it works great but I use my own homemade pasta sauce correct in 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 the recipe in, <laughs> you mean in well instead of the two cans of tomato sauce I use right. my own homemade pasta sauce when I make pasta sauce I always make extra and I freeze it so I can have it for stuff like this but oh chicken parmesan with a little spaghetti on the side mm. oh my gosh mm. it is just delicious is. and when you bake that chicken it is so moist and juicy. Okay. You don't even need a knife. You could just cut it with a fork and it's delicious. I'm just looking on here at some of his recipes here. Oh, meatloaf. I haven't had a meatloaf and oh, lemon chicken. Yeah, so I mean these are these are great recipes. Um, we'll have to I love this recipe. Concoction. That's a great recipe. And is this one of your own recipes? It is. Did you make this up yourself? I did. Okay, and it is delicious. You need to buy these digital recipes just for this recipe because it is mm, delish. That actually, uh, there was one day I had soup. I made homemade soup, chicken noodle soup. And then the next day I'm like, oh, what do I do with you know the celery, the carrots, the onion that you know I still had. And that's what it came. I said, you know what? Let's add a little bit of orzo noodle and some tomato sauce. Delicious. Delicious. We, we will be making more videos, cooking videos. Um, and we will start soon with easy meals. 
Easy meal. One pot meals? Sure. We could try one pot meals. If you have a crock pot, oh, we got some good meals for you. Yep. Comfort food meals, because you know what? Yep. Fall is almost here. Yep, we're going to be going into fall. It's going to be September, which is, it's going to get that transition where it's going to be hot, warm, cool, you know, like that whoosh. You yeah, know? that crazy weather. Yep. Like so, yesterday when it was, you know, 112 degrees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some comfort meals. We're going to be doing some easy one-pot meals. And then we're going to start a new series. Well, at least I am. I don't know if Nina's going to join me for this one. But it's going to be budgeting meals. Budgeting, food budgeting meals. So Sure, that's a great one. Especially, you know, this time where inflation, inflation, inflation. Yeah. Where, you know, sometimes you, know, you got to pinch those pennies. Correct, because everything goes up except your paycheck. So... Budgeting meals is going to be great because mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll teach you how to stretch some of those meals. Correct. And meaning that with more of these series that are happening, there's going to be different different um, digital stuff that you can buy and download. And remember, and remember, here's the biggest thing too. All of this, 30% off. Yes. You buy it once. You buy it once. You Right. You buy it once. <laughs> Buy it once. And once, it is, once you purchase it, it's yours. And forever. it's 30% off. You can't get a better deal than that. Correct. It, and it's yours forever. You can just print it out, and there you go. So there you have it. That is our special for the month. Again, it is going to run from today, August 28th, all the way through to September 30th. You've got your digital recipes, your recipe cards, you've got your inventory sheets, and you can't get a better deal than this. Right. Again, 30% off, you buy it, you download it once, it's yours forever. Correct. And as the series keeps going, we will have new recipes, we will maybe even have new recipe cards, new inventory sheets. Right. You never know what we're going to do and come up with. Exactly. And I'm sure you're wondering, well, how do I get all this? And the link in the description below, it is called Buy Me a Coffee slash Zublo's Kitchen. Now, it's for, you'll, it will take you to a page where it says um, donate, yeah, but if you go to the top, it's gonna say shop. That's where you're gonna find all of this. And what you're gonna do when you're ready to purchase, you're gonna put, you know, everything in. And then it's going to ask for a discounted code. That discounted code is going to be in the link below or <laughs> in the description below. So you just copy and paste that and you will get your 30% off. Again, 30% off. 30. 30% wow. off. Now, I just, I don't know yet, but, you know, we're having a little get together with family. Um... I'm all, I will be off four days. We might maybe do a live stream. I might maybe do a live stream on my birthday, which is going to be Monday, September 9th. But we will see. We still have to figure that out because there are going to be a lot of people here. And I don't know if, one, if they want to be on camera, and two, how noisy it's going to be. Oh, I'm sure it will be noisy because we'll have children here. Correct. And, you know, some people do not have a filter when they're here, so... Mm, that's true. We will, uh... That's true. We will, uh, I'll get back to you on that. But there might be a live stream in two weeks. You know what? We'll give you a heads up on that. We'll let you know before it happens. Right. And I think that, that will be the first live stream in... Eight months. Wow, we haven't done one in eight months. Yeah, Woo! it's been it's been a while. Yeah, I like those live streams. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Yes, we do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to be the best you could be. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.